Okay, so that's uh, frame by frame, um, and I wanted to just go through the sections of it and just discuss it a bit, play through it. Uh, it's a great exercise for the development of technique, your time, everything, and it's a great tune. Um, the first section is just this. It's that over and over. And I tend to want to like dig in with that. It's simply C sharp, uh, fourth fret on the A string. I'm doing this on the A string and I'm playing the E also on the A string. And then I play F sharp on the D string, G sharp, and then back down. That's it. That's all it is. Um, it moves in minor third movements. So you, you started on C sharp and you're there for a while, you know. And then you move to E. So it'd be E, G, A, and B. So it's the same thing. It just moves to uh, a minor third up. And dig in with the pick. And then he moves to G, G, B flat, and I cross strings here. You could just do it here, you know. So you could do it, G, B flat, right here at the fifth fret and the eighth fret, fifth and um, the seventh here. So this is G, B flat, C, and D. And then just move it up to semitone. So it's G sharp. B, C sharp, and D sharp. And again, dig in with the pick. Strict alternating, that's all that's going on. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And repeat. Um, the chord part, everybody probably knows this already, but um, A, F sharp, B, F sharp, and then C sharp, B, and F sharp. Very easy. I do down, up, down, up, down, up, up. You know, there's a myriad of ways to do it, but that's the way I do it. Also, I would suggest, you know, playing through that. You can play through this section. I'll just play through and I'll show you what's what's going on and uh, throw in a couple points, maybe. Just moving on this. Move it up to A, fifth fret. So what I do on the first part is I like to hear the harmony. So I go, I put the F sharp in the bass, you know. And then the D in the bass. You know, so outline the chords. It's 
Same with the B. You know, it's, it's, it goes to a B in the bass. And it's kind of a... It's kind of a B7, really. And then it goes to a G7 with flat 5. So it's a G, F, B, and D flat, you know, so. And then an A minor 11, right? So it's like, that's A flat, G flat, B, and D flat. And then the whole procedure goes up to A, three frets, just like this bit, you know. That moves up too, so they do it the same thing in the tune. So this is A. So this would be A, um, C, A, D, A, and I put an F in the bass. Again, it's the same. And then and it's kind of a D7. So, I, you know, uh, I'll put that on now. So this is F. Here's the D7. B flat. D. So, uh, right here, again, leading off from this in the D7. I like the C in there, too, you know. And Fripp likes to do this kind of. So, I, I like to go. And now, now, this is the B flat 7 with the flat 5. So, B flat, A flat, D, and E. Same formation as the flat 5 uh, on G. And that minor 11th chord is the same on B, B, A, D, and E. So, and then there's an E, you know. And then back. There's back to that stuff. Pick up. Again, dig in. G, C sharp. Seven. B flat. C. C. So that's basically it. I think the uh, the idea is to just dig in with the pick 
and build up the endurance. And uh, those are all the spots. Uh, there's, uh, that's basically it to the tune. There's, there's really not too much more to it. So build up your endurance with your, uh, with your alternate picking, I think is the best way to do it, is just build that up. Uh, do it in sprints, but also do it slowly too, just to make sure your art, you know, the articulation is right. And uh, it's a great tune. Have fun. And I hope this was helpful as a tutorial for it. And uh, if you liked the video, please hit subscribe and it would be great to hear back from you. Thanks a bunch.